moving on. Paul True sent shockwaves through Kenya rugby after announcing he would step down as Sevens coach after the Port Elizabeth leg of the World Seven Series. He departs one year into a three-year deal and will now miss out on the chance to take the side to the Rio Olympics. But he says it was just time for a change. I think it's a, it's, 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 it's a personal disappointment because I mean, I'm not the type of person who will walk away from things. And so I think in that sense, you know, I'm a bit disappointed in, in, in the fact that I couldn't see it through. But uh, I'm also sure, I mean, I also need another, another challenge in my life. You know, I, 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 need to, I need to keep growing, I need to keep developing. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, this is also going to be the catalyst and the start for me, you know, to, to better and bigger things. Kenya has struggled in the World 7 Series this season and sit in 14th spot on the log. The campaign was not helped by a player pay dispute that robbed True of his strongest side. And he admits that situation contributed to his decision to leave. When everything you know changed, you know after the you know the players went on strike, you know they weren't paid, and and also you know, obviously their contracts were cancelled. You know it, it 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 really changed the dynamics of the team. We had to you know put together you know uh, almost like a, a team within a short space of time to take to the Gold Coast, and uh, and also I mean these guys that you see here, they've signed the contracts. Now these are the guys that we're going to take forward. But uh, you know it was again it was it was a bit of a challenge. Well, Kenya don't have time to dwell on their situation. They have the third leg of the World 7 Series to prepare for, and Paul True expects a big reaction from his players. I think, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be payback, you know, for them this weekend. You know, for me personally, they need to give me something back, and I, they're fully aware of that. Um, I think, you know, they, they, they were, like I said, they took it a bit difficult, you know, and a bit hard uh, this past week when, when, when I spoke to the team. Uh, but they're also fully aware that they have so much potential. I mean, we are giving points away. We are making all the mistakes in the game. And they, and they know if they can put it together, you know, this weekend, you know, any tournament that they're going to play, they definitely will start winning, uh, you know, games. They will start winning tournaments, you know, and they can be, become a world, you know, contender. True is now focused on a career change and a switch to 15-man rugby. He admits it will be a challenge. As for Kenya, he has this warning. There is the danger, you know, that the team might, you know, uh, fall behind. Uh, and especially even with teams like Namibia and, and Zimbabwe, also part of the, the regional qualifier, that, you know, if we're not going to get our ducks in a row, that we might qualify for the Olympics. And, and they will be sad to see. They are so much talent, you know, within the country. And I'm sure if they can get their things in order, you know, they can definitely become a world force, you know, to be reckoned with. That True's reign did not end in more glory will be a sore point for all concerned. He's now moved on. Time will tell if Kenyan rugby can follow suit. Dan Williams, CCTV, Port Elizabeth, South Africa.